Hi, Casey Dreyer here, Director of Advocacy at the Planetary Society with a quick space advocate update to talk about the big news today, which is the President's 2016 budget proposal. It came out this morning. I know, I was up at 4.45 a.m. as the first news was coming in. Uh, it's tough living here on the West Coast sometimes, but it was worth it because we learned some really, really exciting things. So what's in it? Well, you can probably tell by the smile on my face that Europa, we've got a mission to Europa, 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 Europa. Europa is in this budget. This is huge. This has never happened before. Congress supports Europa. The scientific community supports Europa. We needed the official start blessed by the administration to begin this project. We have that now. This is very exciting. It's historical. It's a historical budget. Matt Kaplan, the host of Planetary Radio here at the Society, was actually at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory today when they made this announcement about Europa. And he was able to meet with some of these folks who will work on the next mission to Europa. After a long, long wait, congratulations are in order. Thank you. I think so. This has been a wonderful day. We've been working on concepts for missions to explore Europa for about 15 years. And today the NASA administrator said we're going forward to the next phase, phase A as it's called, becoming an actual mission. This thing we're standing next to would seem to be additional evidence of how far along this mission is. Tell us about this. Oh, absolutely. So this is a mock-up of what we call the vault. So the vault would have a bunch of shielding, a bunch of metal that protects the sensitive electronics of the spacecraft, the brains of the spacecraft. This is kind of the skull of the spacecraft, if you like. So the solar panels, the high gain antenna, and much of the main body is propulsion. If there's a radar antenna, as the science definition team recommended, that, that's what this is, is, that could find water in the shallow subsurface. We've never been this far along on a mission to Europa. Now that doesn't mean we're there yet, but we've got what's called a new start. We've got a long way to go, but the most important step has been taken. So what else is in the budget? Well, fundamentally, let's take the big picture. NASA's top line is $18.5 billion. That is $500 million above what Congress gave NASA last year. That is a great number. What's planetary science? We've been asking for $1.5 billion here at the Planetary Society. We are not at $1.5 billion. We're at $1.36 billion. But it has a mission to Europa included inside of it. That's very good. Less good inside the planetary budget. No funding for the Opportunity rover, no funding for the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter around the Moon. That's one of the things we will ask you to do here very soon, is to start writing Congress to make sure those missions have funding to keep exploring Mars and the Moon. Other parts of the budget, Commercial Crew gets a big increase to $1.2 billion. Earth Science gets a big boost by $175 million to help continue the Landsat program. Astrophysics, the SOFIA spacecraft, which was completely canceled last year, now gets full funding request in 2016. ARM, the asteroid redirect mission, remains in a certain sort of limbo, so we have yet to figure out if NASA is going to pursue the capture an asteroid and redirect it, or grab a little boulder off of a bigger asteroid and bring it back to the moon. That should be coming in the next few months. Those are the headlines from this budget. I will be coming back to you with more news, and we'll be talking more very soon about what a new start means for Europa. But until then, check us out on planetary.org slash space advocate. We're going to Europa, everybody. It's, it's good news. All right, we'll be in touch.